I'm sick, I can't see you. I've been a came off white jacket. I come 30 up. What a, what a lot of you, I swear to God, I chopped two humans up. Left a laser in Alabama, though. Bear the head down in Texas, but her fingers in New York, though. I line the hood where them humans go. Got jacked up in Arizona, but they was only asking questions, though. That's when I had to put them vans up. But trust got hot as hell, but single up paying big bucks. You know I got my rank up. Baby, trust with NG when I show them cannibalism stuff. Flashback to my first load. Hell no, I wasn't nervous. I'm already killing on the road. Kidnapped a lot of white folks. You can say I'm sick as hell, but I ain't never killed no black folks. So what the fuck you on my back for? They selling heart sick kidneys. You ain't been on dark well, bro. I can't wait to a blogger go against me. Cause Singola owe me a favor for that load. I took to New York City. They say some feds got some interest in me. But the leak got my back. I know some secrets about the pedal business. But I would die if I get the stitching. I turn my head and look that way. Epstein is not my fucking business. So let me end this cause the fed is listening. World War three finna start. We gon' die. We don't stand no business. Yeah. Huh? Niggas that listen to me when I speak, man. I started off 5K and I've been 15 racks per immigrant, man. A lot of wicked shit going on in them highways, man. You slaughter shit across the road, man. Yeah, you don't want to talk about that. Let's get to that. Shout out to Zip with the drip, man. Let's get to that. Yeah. Hey, we dropping loads off from state to state. Hey, we killing hitchhikers from state to state. Yeah, we dropping loads off from state to state. Yeah, we killing hitchhikers from state to state. Yeah. Hey, do the low, man. When you gonna stop playing, man? Take your shit serious. Like, I see you got your OTF chain. You happy. You smiling ear to ear. You feel like there's something to celebrate. You know what I'm saying? You popping bottles. You sipping good. You drinking good. You smoking good. All that stuff. That's cool. You hitting this female, that female. You wearing the Zion. You got jewelry. You got a big OTF chain. All that stuff. But any shit you doing impressive. Like, don't think because you got a million Spotify numbers and you got a couple million views on your videos and shit like that. You doing something like ain't nothing that you doing impressive. Like <laughs> you got to step your shit up, man. Like you playing, man. You ain't working hard enough, man. You got to step your shit up, man. Like <laughs> I look at your Spotify numbers, man. Your top five songs got features on them, man. What's up with that, man? You got one song by yourself, man. That F the internet, the F10, the uh, FTN, whatever. You got that, man. There ain't nothing, man. There ain't no club banger. And the rest of your song is King Von and Moneybag Yo and Kodak Black. You going way out there. Kodak Black and Moneybag Yo and this one and that one. And you happy about that? You impressed about that? You feel good about yourself? You think you going to build wealth with that? Like, damn. You got a feature on every song. Yeah, you got videos on YouTube. You by yourself. You got a million here, two million there. A lot of niggas got that. That don't mean that, man. Like, what's the difference, dude? Low like, tell me, like, you got a million views on Spotify. You got a million views on this video, that video. DC on Fly, or Ha Ha Davis, and all them. They had five million followers, six million, still broke, still broke. Like, so don't come at me talking about some. You got a million Spotify numbers and you got this many million views on this video. Yeah, but you show me your tour numbers. Show me your tour numbers. Like, is you packing out shows besides the clubs and shit? Like, do the law. Let's really talk. Like, let's be for real. Like, <laughs> what the promoter saying about you? Is you really selling out shows by yourself? Or do you need Buki and um, whatever the nigga's name is? Um... Lazelle Sama, you need Dirk with you, you need all them OTF niggas. You gotta have 50 niggas to, you know, sell out a show. Come on, man. Like, I don't know to see you by yourself selling out shows and you just going on tours. And come on, man. You can't be on no Future and Friends. What you mean? You don't fit that criteria. Future and Friends? Nah. East G and Friends? No. Nah. Lil Dirk and Friends? Yeah. Yeah, look dirty and friends. Like, come on, man. I mean, they ain't good, man. They ain't calling you Hot 97. They ain't calling you to perform. Ain't no big tour, no uh, summer jam, no nothing like that. Come on, man. They ain't calling you, man. DJ Envy ain't calling you to perform in no car shows or Rick Ross or coming to the Breakfast Club or Vlad. Ain't nobody really talking to you, man. 
I mean, it's a lot of work to be done, man. You happy about the chain? You smiling ear to ear? Who told you you can reward yourself? I understand it's a tax write-off, but who told you you can reward yourself? You ain't did nothing impressive. You got a million Spotify numbers. That's dirt. Half of that dirt. Dang. All your people, man. You can't sell a million records. You ain't getting no platinum plaques. Them ain't your fans. Them little dirt fans. OTF. King Bond fans. and You know what I'm saying? That's why, man. Like, the million people that follow your Spotify, you know half of them little dirt. Half of them King Bonds. And, you know what I'm saying? Just O Block and OTF. Man, come on now. Maybe 35% yours, man. You don't understand? That's why some of your videos, there'll be 100,000, 200,000. Then the one with the features, there a million, two million, 500,000, like the one you did with Icewell. You know what I'm saying? So, now nah, you do got some, that's a million by yourself, but that's when you was more, you was a little hotter. You had a little buzz behind you. That was about a year ago, two years ago, a year and a half ago. Now it's like it's going down. So it's going to force you to go federal. Don't you understand? You don't get that. This shit going to force you to go federal. You don't rap like Nas. You don't make songs like Gucci. You don't make songs like Pooh You can't really rap like that. You just got a lot of, you know, popular niggas around you. And you know what I'm saying? You just in the mix. So you get the fame from that. So you don't have to have some drama about you. Behind you, behind your story, so it can sell. Give us a reason to buy your album and all that stuff. So any little street beef or rap beef or little dirt got beef with somebody, you gonna go extra hard. Or, you know what I'm saying? When it's your turn, when a nigga really going at you, you gonna, you know, step up because you gonna, you ain't got no choice. You ain't got no choice. You ain't really got no story like that. Sex case, man. We ain't really trying to hear all that stuff, man. We know you innocent. We ain't trying to hear all that stuff. That ain't gonna sell no records. You can't put that in no raps. You can mention it and diss her and call her the B and all that there. And she'll lie you and she's sick and all that there, which is true. But it ain't gonna sell no records. Like, you need more than that. Like, you either need a hell of a feature that's gonna, you know what I'm saying, take you out of here. Like, it's so hard. Like, it don't matter that you on this. Out of here. Like, hit record. Which I doubt you get that. Or you do a collab take with dirt. You know what I'm saying? Which that uh, you know, get you here, but you'll stay stuck there. As soon as the take done, you'll stay right there. So you'll do a little tour or some shows off that though. So you'll run up a half a million, you know what I'm saying, off that. Four hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand, something like that. After taxes, maybe about four hundred thousand on seven hundred or three seventy five, three fifty, you know what I'm saying? Um or you're gonna need a body. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to catch a body or a shooting charge or you get locked up with a gun charge or you know what I'm saying? Um you get pulled in a diamond, you're gonna need some type of hype around your name. If none of that shit work. If not, you're just gonna be a sitting OTF artist. Cause I'm listening to your raps, like it ain't really nothing impressive, like um you don't really interact with your fans like that. You don't go live like that. You don't, you couldn't be no hell of a YouTube nigga. You ain't got the character like so, you know, um, you ain't did no movie, so you probably ought to try to work on that. But I mean, maybe on a little hood movie, yeah. You can, you know what I'm saying, do your thing. But some big, nah, you got to take acting classes and take it a little more serious and get the proper training. Then, yeah, you know what I'm saying, you got potential, but I'm just saying, like, right off the muscle, somebody calling you, nah. Or somebody telling you, hey, try for this edition. Nah, they ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, so this shit gotta change through the low, man. Hell is you doing, man? Ain't no radio stations calling you, no tours, no podcasts, no bloggers, no nobody. Ain't no rappers. They can't call Dude Low for no hit record, no street anthem. You can't get nobody that. You can't even get yourself that. That's why I said don't let the YouTube views and all that down the Spotify numbers fool you. It look good, it look nice, but come on, man. Show your ticket sales. <laughs> you ain't doing seven shows, five shows a week, four shows a week. Come on, man. Yeah, you with a nigga that's doing that. Yeah. Man, I ain't seen that one time you rocked the whole 
like just rock that club. They know your shit worth it, or it's just you by yourself and your partners. Like, nah, man. <laughs> that ain't the move, man, but it look good. Dirt making it look good. He done a good job making it look good, but y'all lacking in a lot of areas. Like, y'all not strong with ticket sales and packing the clubs and topping the charts and trending on YouTube. Y'all not strong in the pockets. Y'all strong on flexing with a new chain and, you know, doing street shit and stuff like that and moving as a pack. So you fit like a group. You don't fit no solo. Nah, it's too much pressure. It's too much weight. Nah, it ain't you, man. You need to get in a group, man. Those 16 bars, 8 bars, 10 bars, 12 bars, 6 bars. Yeah, you'll go crazy with that. Like, you can be a good team player, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can definitely be a soldier for a squad now. I ain't saying kick you off the label. I'm just saying, man, you got a lot of work to do, man. I'm looking at you. <laughs> you smiling like you're a number one artist. Yeah, smile. Be happy. I'm just saying, like, you don't feel like you need to be working harder. <laughs> man. But it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know, man, how y'all feel, man. It's a damn shame because you think you better than Quando Rondo and you're not. None of y'all OTF niggas better than Quando Rondo. Y'all not. Y'all not, man. Nowhere near. It's only Le Dirt that's better than Quando on OTF, man. Let's be serious, man. Come on, man. Then young boy got dirt. So they neck and neck. So come on, man. You got one man that can take the whole squad. Quando. Y'all don't make better songs than Quando. Come on, man. Dirk, you need to find some superstars, man. What the hell is you doing, man? Bread game making y'all look weak, man. Bread game running laps around y'all niggas, man. Step it up, OTF. Like, you keep signing all these street niggas, all these Chicago niggas, man. You might want to, you know, take that pen, take that contract somewhere else, man. Take it to Memphis, take it to North Carolina. Come to Charlotte. Yeah, go to Durham, Raleigh, go to South Carolina, Alabama, Mississippi, yeah, Little Rock, yeah, come on, man, like, Florida, you might want to leave Chirac, man, you one of them ball hogging ass niggas, man, yeah, you don't want to share that light, yeah, it'll look like you a real nigga, though, because you feed the fam, and they got jewelry, and cars, and money, and shit like that, but you ain't gonna sign no... Big homie G. You ain't gonna sign no finesse two times. You know what I'm saying? You know how humble and smart you gotta be to sign finesse two times. And you money bag. Come on, man. Like, you ain't gonna do that, man. You don't want that pressure, man. Now, King Von was on his way up, but he wasn't gonna be in them doors like you because who he is and what he be saying and how he move. He was gonna be locked up, so he wasn't gonna get in them doors like you. So... Yeah, dude, low, he ain't got no chance. <laughs> so it don't matter, man. But it's all good. Everybody can't, you know, be at the top. Hey, Ever G Doug, you see how the OTF niggas been since you been gone? <laughs> they been falling down. They been going downhill. They want that press us with jury. Man, every rapper got jury. Every rapper got a Rolex, a Cartier, a Richard Miller, um, uh, Cuban Link, and all that bullshit. The diamond T, gold T, man. Come on, man. All y'all got purses, man. That ain't nothing, man. That ain't impressive, man. Hey, Doug. Dirt still got a whole dude in low hand. It's been two years. That man still dropping videos on his page, man. What the hell going on, man? That dude, they should have kept you alive, man. Damn, nigga. You still had something to talk about. Damn. They got to be going down here. Y'all niggas slide down them goddamn slides, man. Shit, leave them. Here's the part Dookie Low. Your name ain't Dookie Low. Dookie Low. Because all the music you've been putting out, Dookie. Your numbers, Dookie. Yeah, unless it's a feature. You got to spend all your life savings on the Kodak feature. I hope we give you that for free on the strength of dirt. Yeah, I do, but you know, the strength of dirt. And the only reason why you got that feature because Kodak Black was already around dirt and he ain't had nothing else to do. Like, I right, ain't got nothing like it out for you. Or dirt can use that verse for his um song so he let you have that dirt. You know what I'm saying? Mean, this is getting this dirt man. You look out for his artists or something. You know what I'm mean? saying? You never know. But, uh, yeah, man. Uh, you can be proud of yourself a little bit because you ain't in the hood. You know what I'm mean? saying? You with OTF and all of that. So, I am proud of you for that, but you're not impressive for like an artist. <laughs> you're like a level D artist. You only got a D because you were OTF. 
You still need summer school. You still need summer school. So, not cool. Yeah. Nigga chillin', man. All them GD niggas, they better than you, man. They better. King LeJ, he better than you, man. You ain't better than I'm King LeJ. You ain't better than them 63rd niggas, man. I don't know why y'all OTF niggas think that because y'all OTF. It's just dirt. That's it. It's just dirt. <laughs> the rest of y'all niggas, y'all ain't no better than them. So all that talking heavy because y'all got the diamonds and all that duh. Y'all raps no better than theirs. I mean, not even better than theirs. That's what I mean. Not even better than theirs. Y'all just got dirt beside y'all. Y'all got all the cars and all the goods and gamma done juice it up. But you take all that away, take the OTF away. Y'all be getting 100,000 views, 50,000. Only time you'll get 500 or a million if you dissing 63rd or Duck or something like that. You got to do that. Like, damn, man. Y'all might need to do what Lil Reese did. Come on to an interview and say you shot him and him and him. That way we tear you up and, yeah, go federal, man. You might as well, man, because, shit, you ain't impressive. <laughs> you staying free and not going federal. Shit, you know what you mean? Your numbers up. You know, you came through that drill door. So you got to talk crazy every blue moon. Yeah, so... Go ahead and set yourself up for that, and let's see where your career goes with that. Because <laughs> if you try to go a little baby route or a money bag yo route, it ain't going to work. Do you really think Do The Low or anybody else at OTF, do y'all really think if y'all became free agents, 4PF will call you? <laughs> QC The Label will call you. 1017 will call you. No. Dev Jam will call you. No. No. Unless you're going to sign a 3 i I'm talking about this 360 so terrible, you might get 5 or 10%. They get 90. 90 10 split. 90 going their way. <laughs> Why 100 don't want you? You can't, you can't even go over there. Don't nobody, man. Y'all drop the comment, man. If I'm wrong, if I'm hating, soldier hating, whatever you want, drop the comment, man. Let me know, man. 